Hello, welcome to my channel, but better yet, welcome to 2024. Even though we're like in the third week, I know all the 2024 fashion prediction videos are out everywhere now, but I still haven't seen any really geared toward the itty bitty titty committee. There are so many trends going around, so if you have a small chest like me and kind of want to just get straight to the point of which ones could be perfect for you, then this is your video. All right, to clarify, this video does not equally mean that girls with larger chests won't be able to wear any of the trends that I feature in this video. I'm just narrowing down the 2024 trends out there that I personally love as a small chested girl and thought these would be perfect for someone else who is also self-conscious about their chest size. This also does not equally mean that girls with smaller chests won't look good with any trends that are not featured in this video. At the end of the day, wear whatever you want, honey. You all know that I am such a huge advocate on that. With that being said, let's move on to our first trend, which is girl core and hyper femininity. These 3D and oversized flora accents are predicted to be everywhere this year. Also, let's get this out there. There, there are so many trends, micro trends, major trends every single year. That is not to say that everything that was popular last year is now out and you should throw away everything in your closet to keep up for this year's trend because that just adds to the already toxic problem of fast fashion. Here is the PSA. It is okay for trends to last three plus years and it is okay to still wear stuff from 2020 and 2021. It is not a crime. Girl core is definitely one of them. You've seen it blossom over the years with Selkie being very popular a few years back and then last year with everyone adding bows to literally everything and this year girl core and hyper femininity will only be growing from here on out i am so sorry if i'm butchering hyper femininity that is like one of the hardest words also side note i am missing like two nails right now so let's just ignore that fact anyways going back to the 3d roses i believe that working with a small chest volume is pretty key it just draws the eye away from the chest which is great for someone that doesn't like to put a lot of emphasis on their chest Area. Also, what I love about 2024's predictions this year that I've seen across all the research I've done is that nothing is new. Everything we've already seen before and we're just recycling it in a new way. So I will also be featuring some items that I've thrifted in the past that actually align with these trend predictions. Another major trend that is still going strong is business casual or better known as corp core. This is a style that I love wearing because it helps me embrace my small chest. Sometimes girls with small chests feel like things that lay on them kind of just look Bleh. Where's the curves, girl? Like, let me show you. Like this dress right now, there's so much volume that should be filled up. Do you see this? Do y'all see this right now? Like, hello, I'm hiding it under my fur coat. <laughs> but anyways, similar to me hiding it under my fur coat, I love this style personally because I like to hide my chest under oversized blazers, oversized button-ups, and it kind of just like, like it's not obvious that I don't have boobs, especially when I'm wearing something oversized like that. I think for me too, I'm known to wear a lot of bralettes and lingerie under my blazers. So I feel like if I were to have a larger chest, I would definitely feel self-conscious that I'm looking too sexy. Like I am potentially giving hot, sexy secretary or something. Off the shoulder tops, we're definitely coming back in 2023 and they're still going strong in 2024. You know me, I love accentuating my shoulders because it just draws the eyes away from here and onto here. Maybe subconsciously, that's why I got these like little star tattoos here because I'm like, don't look at my chest. Look at look at these points right here. <laughs> but I mean, I also love sparkles, so who knows? I also saw this form of styling, which I love. It is the perfect mixture of corp core and the off the shoulder trend combined together. Let's talk about one of my favorite small chest tactics, the art of distraction. And to do that, let's talk about color tights. Like, hello, who's gonna be focused on your small chest when they're just looking at your cool tights? I can bet 99.9% .9 of people's focus goes to the color tights. If someone sees this outfit and their eyes automatically go straight to the chest and their mind just completely ignores the interface color tights. I have to admit that is a little weird. Sometimes stepping out of your comfort zone and into bold fashion trends can actually boost your confidence. And at the end of the day, it's all about confidence, right? Like I could wear a trash bag, but if I'm convinced that I fucking look cool in that trash bag, I will look cool. With trying new things, you'll not only start to find your sense of style that you like, but you'll slowly start to love a feature that you once were shamed of or didn't love so much. That's happened to me at least and it worked so. Since we're on the topic of bold fashion, the next trend we have is the color red. When we think of bold colors, red is her. She is bold. And it's not like bright red though. We're seeing more of the deep cherry red and the oxblood red. Red is also considered to be a pretty sexy color. So I think girls with small chests can really eat this trend up. The way that I see it is that the mind will think fashion first and then sex appeal after. I love this photo so much and my mind is automatically thinking 
wow, that is a fucking cool outfit. Like, I love that outfit. And I'm not thinking, oh my God, her tits are out. I think because in my mind, removing like the big boobs kind of takes away the sex appeal. So I'm like appreciating it as a really cool outfit and it doesn't come off overly sexy to me, even though she's still in a bra. Another 2024 trend prediction that can come off as sexy is the cheetah and leopard print. Let's be real, this one is always coming in and out of fashion. And to be honest, I feel like it could be debatable whether it's trendy or tacky. I personally love it and still wear it to this day. So let's just say it's trendy. Because this print usually has the connotation of being sexy, scandalous, promiscuous, I feel us small chested girls can use that to our advantage. Because like I mentioned before, not having a large chest in a way removes the sex appeal out of an outfit. I definitely do not have boobs to fill out this dress, but if I did have bigger boobs, just like out, it would look a little formal to me, but I feel like I'm able to wear this very casually. Another trend that is bad, and I say air quotes because it never left for me, is faux fur coats. I have literally seen faux fur coats on everyone's 2024 fashion predictions and I am just looking around like am I really just in my own world because I truly thought these never left and I truly don't even live in a cold area for me to be wearing faux fur coats 24 7 365 days a year but here I am like when did faux fur coats ever leave fashion anyways glad that it's back I feel like this trend looks great on everyone literally like all the trends that I have mentioned previously already why I love this trend specifically as a small chested girl is that I feel like it doesn't alter my body shape too much both my mom and my sister are large chested girlies. I know, right? Like, where was the boobs gene in the womb for me? But they've mentioned in the past that having a large chest alters their frame, especially if the fabrics don't hug the body. So sometimes wearing a big fur coat like this can make them look a lot bigger than they actually are because it just falls down straight from like the furthest point. Having a big chest has pros and cons, just how having a small chest has pros and cons. Wearing chunky outerwear like a fur coat is a pro that someone with a small chest can embrace. Gingham is another pattern that's coming back, but more in the past pastels rather than like the reds, blues, blacks that we've seen in the past. And you've guessed it. It is in this video because the art of distraction. Patterns are great for small chest in general just because it keeps the eye busy and not so focused on your chest. Listen, if you have not noticed by now, I truly love distracting people with my clothes. And over accessorizing and the statement charm necklaces is perfect for just that. Feeling a little self-conscious of people looking in this general area, then fill the space up and give them something to look at. Not only does it distract from your chest, but it's a great way to express and show your personality. The last trend to bring my video to a close is sheer core. If you've been following me for a while now, you know that one of my favorite things about having a small chest is wearing lingerie and bralettes as casual wear. One might think, Nava, but isn't wearing sheer clothing going against the idea of distracting and hiding your small chest? And to that I say, yes, it does. I feel like we're saying, this is the chest I was giving, so I am going to embrace it no matter what. Uh, look at my chest. Because with wearing sheer clothing, you're basically showing more of your body. So you're kind of just like, yeah, I have a small chest and what? Say it with your small chest. And I know that song could be problematic for some, but I feel like I could not not say that line because in this context. So again, not having that initial sex appeal can really be helpful if you want people to focus more on your outfit versus your body shape. Like I said earlier in this video, there are so many trends out there. These are just the ones that I personally love as a small chested gal. And I personally think anyone with a small, large, no chess can eat any of these trends up that I featured in this video. I hope this video was helpful and remember all these trends can be thrifted or shopped secondhand online on like Depop, Etsy, ThreadUp, wherever you shop. You all know that I love online thrifting, especially if thrifting physically is not available in your area. The thrifted items that I featured in this video weren't even half of like what I have actually in my closet that fits and aligns with these 2024 trends. So let me know in the comments if you want to see like a separate video of all my 2024 trend thrift finds or something like that. If you want to connect with me on the other channels, you could find me at the Nava Rose on Instagram and then on TikTok at the dot Nava Rose. Thank you all for watching. I love you all so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.